what's up what's up what's up what's up what's up what's up big welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a newbie a warm 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 welcome to you and if you're a regular degila what's up you know the vibes you know the vibes you know the vibes um thank you guys so so much just want to thank you guys all you clickers for the support for the subscribers we on 450 subscribers now i know that's right i know that's right thank you guys so 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 much for the um, support it really really genuinely means a lot um in today's video we are going to be talking about club life yeah no no yeah no eh? i always say all that just is not gold some of it is though some of it really is but that's not what we're talking about um hey guys let's get right into it yeah get into it yeah get into it yeah um where I been in? Okay, right. Um, this is just a few disclaimers, right? I am not discriminating against any one, any culture, anyone's beliefs, anyone's whatever. I'm not discriminating against anyone, right? Um, this is solely on what I have personally experienced, witnessed seen went through personally and all of that right so i was introduced to the club life this year right um honestly it got worse i started like going out more after the final breakup if you know you know it's two videos down um there was the final breakup video before the mm -hmm. vlog where i said that i was done and just all of that so i started like going to the club more often you know i i i went to different establishments right i won't name any of them but if you know you know if you have me on instagram you know i was going to different clubs and genuinely it was something that i've always wanted to do because i just like having fun i love music i love dancing you know so it was not something that was like far-fetched or something out of my out of celine's character although the things that were happening were out of my character hence i'm talking about it right so i went to all these places not all of them but like yeah most of them and some were healthy to a certain extent and i'll explain what i mean by that and some were not right so um after my breakup i was going out like different places i was out and about and how we actually rekindled him and i was when i was out this one night and i just felt so out of place so empty so unsafe you know although i was surrounded by people but i was just like i do not belong here I literally what am I doing here what exactly am I doing here you know what I mean so that's how him and I rekindled and that's how deep it goes with this club life right so um, are you ready for this are you ready are you ready are you ready are you ready that's a real question. So I'm an humanity is lady, it's lady, guys. The black is lady, you know. But anyways, let's not get to the buts. Let's talk about my experience, right? So I would go out, you know, with my friend, or like um I'd get invited, you know. That's also something I'm gonna address. So you get invited by these promoters, right? And they basically like offer you like a nice time a nice time if you know you know you understand if you know you know however you are basically furniture right when they 
call you tv clubs they call you to kind of like make you furniture and honestly i'm going to say this blindly to sell you out indirectly so because they put you guys in like one section right they put you guys in one section and there's whatever you want there's hubbly there's drinks you know it's it's fine right and he's like gang gang girls this is this this is what happened at one particular place where i went there like three times and i was like i'm good it's very very famous it's very it's a club in Santin. it's very very famous um so they invite gang girls like this so when i got there i was like oh. right so they invite you guys to just chill there and whatever never right and obviously, if you're like a proper, proper club hand, you know, like what they offer you is not of your standard. Right. So, again, I'm not going to mention what they offer you because now I'm eh, eh, discriminating against um, alcohol brands, or whatever. Right. So, I man. Obviously, what sells? Sex sells sex appeal sells right so if guys or oh, blesses now we now call them blesses want to go to a particular place they look at the girls more than anything are these girls pretty enough for me to spend my money you know are these girls um you know aesthetically pleasing to sit at my table because such things exist in the club life they genuinely genuinely do exist aesthetics exist you know like you get girls who will walk around and that's something i've seen not i've done i've seen girls who like walk around sections and like look for guys to or wait on guys to call them and be like no you can join our section and then they get bottles and now when it's time to go home it becomes tricky but also you my sister like guys i will say this and please don't get me wrong right nothing is an excuse for rape sexual harassment um anything that is forced or co coerced 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 that word right there is no excuse for that right no means no however you don't go looking for trouble when i say go you are literally going and i'm not talking about dress code that that is not that that, that i'm not talking about because you can dress how you want to dress that is your body do you understand that is your body and it should never be a a matter of how are you dressed when the guy um approached you or whatever never what i'm saying is you don't go to the guy or walk around there and provoke people and then so that they and then want they drinks or wait on them to call you and say come and drink and then expect there not to be conflict and bear in mind i use the word conflict right conflict of interest now that one wants to go but that one is like but like i bought you vev i bought you ace of spades i bet you this i bought you this right so now it becomes tricky to understand and girls often honestly if we're being honest put themselves in those predicaments they go and search for trouble like this all for for social media all to post and flash on social media and girls have those things <laughs> hey guys social media is going to kill us eh? as hands it's gonna kill us especially club hands I have this thing of uh posting the bottles and not showing the niggas faces right so now i get that right some people just genuinely don't want to be shown faces why is the real question because they've got wives at home that's exactly why you will see a guy saving or has his whole family as his wallpaper my sister i'm telling you things that we see at the club and you find girls that's just posting like bottles mm -mm, honey that was not your money baby that was definitely not your money unfortunately guys i'm here to tell you guys the truth about the club life and how fake it is how fake it really is uh <laughs> so we see you know we see them me we see them me and uh like like i said i'm not judging anyone everyone has their reasons as to why they're doing that but i judge those 
who are doing it for social media gains right now i know aesthetics is very important you know it's very important especially if you're into social media and whatever but don't sell yourself out just to post an ace of spades it's a different situation when you're sitting at your table with your savannah or your whatever and then they offer you didn't invite that company into your presence that company imposed they didn't even ask to be invited they imposed by offering or some even just send bottles and like it's from that table you know and some niggas generally just send bottles and they leave so Mizi, for instance i think um i don't know where he was talking about it. i think it was on a live and musa kaula posted it and said something like um i don't know so Mizi was just saying that there's this guy who sent him like his yes, space or whatever like a lot i think 10 or something or 20 i forgot and the guy didn't want nothing like they never met again you know you know so sometimes it's really clean but is it really that's where we're going right so there is that concept of hands you know so now what i have to say about that is i'm not judging anyone right it's your life it's your social media it's it's, it's your body it's your whatever you want to do with it but don't just don't girls i just want to say that girls put themselves in compromising situations when it's time to leave you understand because no one is gonna come to you if you're chilling on your own you don't invite anyone or like you don't invite any sort of company no one is gonna feel like you owe them something you know what i mean so hey guys it becomes tricky right there's that aspect of girls inviting bad company and then there's conflict of interest and yeah then it becomes a problem bouncers are now involved or girls are dodging the guys and leaving by one by one let's say it's the four of you guys now the other one is saying i'm coming i'm going to go the bathroom the other one is saying one day i was on fire guys one day one day you're gonna get the wrong one so just take care of yourselves girls like if you want to do that do that but be slick about it you know because not everyone comes out of it the way they were before if you know what i mean if you are if you know you know that's what i'm going to say period right and then there's the aspect of hands and hands at clubs right my favorite one kezana so <laughs> there's my favorite one right this is my favorite um place that i really love to go to unfortunately it's closed now that will give it away what i'm talking about will just give it away i've even vlogged there you know so that's my favorite one right um what i've seen there is <laughs> so unlike the other okay well okay so okay you know what hands do right hands have this thing of um stepping together and posting and tagging each other and you know you understand that uh what you guys don't know is that they're not even friends so look at someone i met then there and then and just because we're all in one sections one in one section one two just because you're pretty now pretty is very important when it comes when it comes to these club hands guys how you look is important because that's what forms friendships in these clubs i'm telling you that is exactly what forms these friendships at these clubs but show me show me show me they just met my sister they literally just met and because Selena's pretty or my lady is pretty. I'm on a snap because what? My lady is pretty. And what you guys don't know is that these girls, most of them work at other clubs. Right? So as soon as they see pretty hands, it's now an engagement. And to say, I host, wait, 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 please do pull through. Now you have each other's numbers. Now you have each other's Instagram. Instagram, I understand. Like Instagram is like, but for me, WhatsApp is like very sentimental, you know. So if I even ever give you my number, you must really know that I'm like, okay, I I understand you, I like you, but we're not friends, you know. But it's rare for me to give out my numbers to hands, even. Niggas, I don't even give out my numbers to niggas because why? Like I always say, do not approach me at a club. As a guy, don't do that. 
I'm there to have fun. I'm there to dance. Do not approach me. But in this context, I'm talking about hands. I'm literally talking about hands. It's hard for me to give a hand my number. You understand? Because it's a friendship that's formed in a club. For me, that's fake. I don't know why or how, but for me personally, it just ends there. It ends at you guys liking each other's stories. And it's something that I'm experiencing. Liking each other's stories, viewing each other's statuses, but not saying nothing. It's nothing productive, nothing at all. Literally nothing. So there's that aspect of um, if you're pretty enough, we're going to become friends and we're going to start going out. But despite, never mind them being promoters and trying to get like a lot of girls to go to wherever they're hosting, there's also the aspect of selling out each other, right? So let's say you, you like me three, a squad thing, or me two, right? In a squad, in a clique, in a clique. So, and you guys know there's a group of um, guys that you guys are busy with, right? Bless us. So now, uh, when they see Selena, it's like, I could shot for that one's friends. Because these guys will be like, to you, why are your friends? Bring your friends. Because we know that particular culture likes it when it's like this, gang girls. Because what, they come as a squad like this. You see 10 of them as niggas only going to a club. 10, my sister. 10 of them. So that one girl who comes with her two friends, what about the rest of the seven niggas? Right? So then it's like, bring your friends. Right, the main main nigga. There's always a main main nigga, who's like the one who's paying the bills and who's what not, but not not. So it tells obviously the girlfriend, where are your friends? You understand? And most of the times you see, and there's a particular group. <laughs> there's a particular group, ne? Uh, uh, how do I say this? Okay, there's a particular group of people, right? I don't want to mention them because now I'm discriminating. There's a particular group of people, right, who sell out their girlfriends. I've given you guys a clue. Who sell out their girlfriends to who? These blessings. There's a particular group of people who sell out their girlfriends to these guys. So it's a chomi. And they like the they like the word chomi. Guys, if you know what I'm doping, then you know, baby. If you if like if you don't get it, just ask me. I will tell you which group I'm talking about. They sell out their friends. I've seen it. Literally. They befriend every pretty girl. Every pretty girl is their friend. Every pretty girl is their friend. Every. And when I say every, every singing they with the sun, singing and the sun. I'm just like, are these literally all your friends? And they're living life, no, they're living softy, going to Dubai, going to wherever. Again, I'm not judging anyone. I'm just telling you guys how um fake social media and the club life is. Do not envy because you guys do not know what these girls go through for all of that, to be splashing all of that. Do not envy anyone in life. When I be okay with your Netflix, see your strict parents, see, um your newborn baby or whatever be okay be enough because that's all you need that is all you literally need and you only understand it after if after you've seen and i think everyone needs to go through the club life i'm just lucky that it took me a month to realize that mm -mm, this is not something i can do every weekend or constantly like consistently so no ways and as much as i like um, um, um and dancing mm -mm, my sister uh, to a certain extent hey, to a certain extent because i love my peace i love myself that much but anyways we're not there so there's an aspect of promoters uh and aspects of that group that group selling out their girlfriends right and then we move to how do i put this the competition that happens in clubs right and the fights and the conflicts that happen in fights right girls generally don't like each other and i'm not gonna say we 
because I'm never the problem. And that's obvious we are so girl. But I've learned to not be that person. I don't fight no more. I just keep quiet and I look at you, do your thing, and I act like the fool, right? Try me, but God's got me. So I'm not going to say nari. You know what I mean? Can't genuinely hate each other. You know, like little things like um, greeting each other when they get to a section, uh, making each other feel some type of way, um, being snacks, like tension. I don't even know for what. I literally don't understand. You guys might see them snapping like all together, but trust me, there's tension. There's a whole lot of tension that goes down. Let me tell you guys something you don't know. Fun fact, right? Hans, there's more fights in clubs when it comes to Hans than when it comes to niggers. That's exactly what I'm going to tell you guys. There's more fights related to Hans than niggers in clubs. The competition that niggas have with each other, with each other is here. And bottles. That's all. That is all. Like, and I don't think even it's a competition. Niggas just like making statements. I'm past this. And if he hears me, he's gonna cry. So... So, niggas don't necessarily compete with each other. I don't even think it's competition, but like, you just feel the pressure. Let's just call it that, the pressures of it, you know, as niggas. But it's not necessarily a competition. I've Honestly, guys, I've never seen niggas fighting at a club. Ever. Ever. I promise, I oath, I've never ever seen guys fighting. Right? And then there's the aspect of now this is the most important one to me because it's what made me realize that i don't want to do this often as i was how it leaves you feeling and that's because of what they actually do in those clubs now um i went to before i found out right that they actually like you know i'll get into that i don't want to ruin it for you guys i went to a particular club in santon and we left at 5 a.m right my friend and i and we we're having fun it was nice you know it was it was very very nice it was it was it was very very nice right um As it was about to, well, as it closed, right? Now everyone's leaving. So I'm like to her, I'm requesting. And she's like, yeah, please do that. Uh, please, re no, she, she came to me, she's like, please request that. I'm like, yeah, um, you know, I am doing it. And she's like, ah, you'll find me upstairs. She's not that person to just act up or switch moves. But I understood that day. If you know, I can't, if you know me, you know, I can't deal with people who have mood swings. And hence, I'm also saying that she doesn't have mood swings. She's not that person. She's a very, very sweet person. But something in us just came and it was, hey, guys, it was deep. It was literally so deep. And I understood. I understood her frustration. And I was like, she's like, you'll find me upstairs. And she's like, oh, she's like, you'll find me upstairs. I'm like, I haven't requested. It's not even yet outside. Like, it's still, like, searching, you know. And she's like, no, it's fine. You find me upstairs. And she left, and I understood. I immediately also took my things, and I left. Right? And we even waited outside, and it was cold. Guys, 5 a.m. in the morning. It was cold, child. It was really, really cold. So, when we got inside, okay, we went home. We went home. Cool, 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 cool. The next day, I called her, and I was like, I feel so empty. I feel horrible. Remember, I'm going through a breakup. I feel horrible. I feel empty. Um, it didn't do what it needed to do. Why? And she's like, I feel you. I literally feel exactly what you are going through. I understand. And that's because these club owners perform rituals in these clubs. To what? To lure people in. To lure money in. It goes to the extent of even getting snakes. 
it goes to the extent of even getting snakes. Musa Kaula posted, um, she was dancing, she was dancing, she was dancing, you know, she was like dancing, 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 like behind um, a Nigerian man, what a Congolese or whatever he is. And someone commented and he's like, that person is like, I think I'm going to find it and like, just like put it here. And they said something like, um, my snake will like the swan. And I was like, damn, this is exactly what I wanted to talk about.